ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Hey y'all, ingredients. welcome to Weed and Barley. To this is a God. place where you get the ingredients to get to know God. I am Maxine. Welcome to this platform. I am so excited about ending this day 17 with you. Praise God. Hallelujah. We have four days left, y'all. This is so good. Four days left. I pray that you pray today, that you sought after the Lord, that you were in the will of God, doing exactly what he called you to do, being obedient. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Lord is calling us to yield to his spirit. Yes, yield to his spirit. And in doing so, we have to be obedient to the instructions we're given. Hallelujah. For those of you who are have a desire, who are wanting to get to know the Lord, praise God. Start with reading the Bible. Start with praying, praise God. Sit and listen to see what the Lord has to say unto you, praise God. Pay attention, hallelujah, to shows, praise God. And I'm not talking about worldly shows, but if you are into the gospel, praise God, and uh, watching preachers and teachers of the gospel, hallelujah, then just pay attention to the messages because the Lord is always speaking and you'll know when he's speaking to you. Because it will pinpoint that particular situation. It will pinpoint that particular challenge. It will pinpoint that place where you're saying, I'm not really sure, praise God. He will bring clarity to you, hallelujah. Because when he sees that you're not hearing him speak, praise God, guess what? He will bring you signs, hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, the Lord will do it. He will have the angels to minister to you. And the reason why they are here on earth, maneuvering as they are, having charge over you, praise God, is to make sure that you get it, hallelujah. Those those of you who are Christians, those of you who are children of God, you did not turn your back on God. You have said Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. The angels are here to minister to you, to make sure you get it, to make sure you are aligned to the will of God. It takes you, though, to be obedient. So I pray that you're being obedient in this time. Praise God. Hallelujah. Today's message was to hang on to every word of the Lord, to hang on to his word, y'all. Praise God. And I pray that you're hanging on to the word of the Lord today. And every day, praise God, hallelujah, for we are submitting ourselves to the Lord. This is a yielding. This is saying, oh Lord, I know you got this. Oh Lord, hallelujah, you are my navigational system. Oh Lord, hallelujah, I receive what you're saying to me and I'm going to do it. Hallelujah, it's when you give up yourself and you don't lean on your own understanding, praise God, but you have a desire to know the mind of God. You have a desire to lean on his understanding. You have the desire to say, praise God, hallelujah, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do, praise God, but you in me, Holy Spirit, can direct me, praise God, hallelujah, and I'll go where you tell me to go, and I'll say what you tell me to say, and I'll do what you tell me to do, praise God, because this is the will of God. That's it, y'all, praise God, hallelujah. I pray that you believe it and receive it in Jesus' mighty name. This is day 17. We're going to go ahead and go to communion, praise God. God is so good, and I'm so excited about what he's doing with each and every one of us, y'all. I'm seeing so many different things that the Lord has said to me, praise God, hallelujah. These were his promises to me, and I call them promises because he said, hallelujah. And even in the times that I thought, you know, like, wait a minute, Lord, it doesn't seem like this is picking up. He will always remind me, this is it, this is it, this is it, this is it. And that just meant that I was supposed to wait and be patient to allow that thing to unfold praise God and I'm telling you I'm so grateful to just sit it's back already and truly y'all hallelujah but meaning that to to watch it come to pass in what the Lord has said um, is a um, beautiful position to be in to experience what the Lord is saying to you you being obedient and watching it play out right before your eyes no, watching praise God hallelujah that the presence of the Lord is in the room while you in the room understand praise God while a person is speaking you can see the angels all around Hallelujah. Like the truth is there. Praise God. Do you understand? Hallelujah. You always want to be in the place where the truth is. Hallelujah. Because anywhere where lies are, deceit is, praise God. Hallelujah. That's a place of darkness. And that will hold you captive in the mighty name of Jesus. If you come into agreement with it in Jesus mighty name. All right. So let's go ahead and go to 1 Corinthians chapter 11, starting at verse 23. And it reads, for I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that, that the Lord Jesus, in the night in which he was betrayed, took bread. I have it here, y'all. And when he had given thanks, thank you, Lord, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me.
In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Therefore, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself and so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks, eats and drinks judgment to himself if he does not judge the body rightly. For this reason, many among you are weak and sick. In a number, sleep. Praise God. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for communion today. We thank you for the fellowship, oh, Father God. We thank you, Lord, hallelujah, for bringing us together today to pronounce your name, to proclaim your doctrine, oh, Lord God, to stand on your word, oh, Father God, to be led by you. We are so grateful, Lord God, that you are concerned about us, that you even consider us today, oh, Father God. Hallelujah. We thank you for the reconciliation, oh, Lord God. We thank you for speaking to us, Lord God. We thank you for the alignment to you, oh, Father God. We thank you for exposing your mind to us, oh, Lord God. We thank you for this process of consecration, Lord, that we want to consecrate to you. And we thank you for accepting us, receiving us, oh, Lord God, with your arms wide open, hallelujah, ready for us to rest in your peace and your presence, oh, Lord God, for you are full of rest, hallelujah. You are full of peace. And we are so grateful, oh, Lord God, that we can experience this in you. We thank you for placing the blanket, hallelujah, hallelujah, a blanket over us, your blanket of peace, Lord God, your blanket, hallelujah, of protection, oh, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, for covering us and keeping us in our families, oh, Father God. Thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, for, for forgiving us for our sins, Lord God, having mercy on us, pardoning our sins, oh, Father God, in the course of heaven. We thank you, oh, Lord God, so the enemy has no accusations against us, oh, Father God. We thank you, oh, Lord God, hallelujah, and for those who have not said, forgive me, oh, Lord Lord God, hallelujah, right now, we pray, Lord God, forgive us for our sins. We pray right now, Lord God, if there's anything that is left in us, Lord God, that does not resemble you, oh, Lord God, uproot it. Take it out, Lord God, for we want to fully resemble you. We want to be in alignment of you, oh, Lord God. We want your thoughts, Lord God, to be our thoughts. Hallelujah. Let me say that again. We want your thoughts to be our thoughts, Lord God. Help us, oh, Lord God. Help us with that in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for helping us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for, for doing the work in us. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for, re for redesigning. Praise God. Hallelujah. For redesigning the platform. Praise God. Hallelujah. For bringing those people who are supposed to be in our lives in there. Praise God. And everyone who's supposed to be out there out. Hallelujah. We pray right now. Praise God. Hallelujah. That every single counterfeit, Lord God, they detour, they ghost. Praise God. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That they will find their rightful place with the rightful people. Oh, Lord God. But we want to resemble you, oh, Lord God. We don't want to be hardened, heart, hardened, hearted, Lord God. We don't want to be stiff neck towards you, oh Father God. We want to move in your grace and your presence. We want to move in your love, oh Lord God. We want to rise with you, oh Lord God. Hallelujah. We want to be where you are, oh Lord God, in heavenly places, oh Father God. We want our fruit, praise God. Hallelujah. To grow from the vine, praise God. Hallelujah. Examine our fruit, oh Lord. Hallelujah. May our fruit be exactly what you have said it to be in the heavenly realm, oh Father God. May we receive what you have poured out for us, Lord God, and we don't miss it in the mighty name of Jesus. May our steps align with yourselves, oh Lord God, as you step, we step, hallelujah, as you move, we move, hallelujah, just like that, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, oh Lord God, for all your goodness, grace, and mercy, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray, amen, I pray that you are blessed by the word of the Lord, I pray that you are blessed by day 17, I pray that you continue to move in the things of God, knowing that God has restored you, knowing the God that he is moving things for you, praise God, hallelujah, everything that you're declaring over your family, everything that you're praying for and crying out for, praise God, the Lord is hearing it, praise God, hallelujah, and he is examining the space, he's examining your seat, praise God, hallelujah, and you are being positioned in the rightful place in the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord is calling Calling you for a time like this. You will rise up with that voice. Hallelujah. With that ministry. Praise God. Hallelujah. You will be speaking boldly of the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord is calling you today. Praise God. Hallelujah. Your assignment is Jesus Christ. Praise God. Let's not get that twisted. I know a lot of people think they're helping God out. Praise God. Hallelujah. But God can do a lot of things himself. Praise God. What our job is, is to speak the word of God. Is to speak the doctrine of Jesus Christ. Is to win the souls. Hallelujah 
hallelujah, that the Lord bring forth towards us, hallelujah, because I'm telling you right now, praise God, the Lord is sending people your way, and where do you tell them, hallelujah, are you spending time gossiping, praise God, that ain't winning the soul, hallelujah, are you spending time, praise God, hallelujah, complaining, that ain't winning the soul, praise God, are you spending time, hallelujah, telling folks how depressed you are, that ain't winning the soul, hallelujah, you got to stand up, praise God, you got to reject the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus, and do the will of God, praise God, by spreading the doctrine of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Tell people how good he is to you. Give your testimony to people, praise God. Hallelujah. Stop being closed lip. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise God. I'm telling you right now, the Lord is good. The Lord is good and he's going to show his goodness, hallelujah, amongst his people. And those who are doing very little, praise God, I'm telling you right now, hallelujah, those who are doing very little with what God has given you, he will remove it from your hands, praise God, hallelujah, and give it to somebody who's doing more. And I pray right now that we won't take for granted what God has given us, hallelujah, that when he call us to do something and to be obedient and consistent, that we will be just that, hallelujah, like a well-ran engine in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah, that we will know when to crank up and go. We'll know every single part to move, praise God, hallelujah, that's needed in the body of Christ. And we'll make that thing run in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. And if is running out of oil, we'll put oil in it. Hallelujah. Do you understand? We're paying attention because we're good stewards. Hallelujah. The Lord is calling us, y'all, today in Jesus' mighty name. And I pray you hear your name being called. I pray, hallelujah, you hear the roll call, praise God. Hallelujah. Are you in attendance? Hallelujah. I need you to say, hear, Lord. Hallelujah. Because he's calling you, praise God, and we need you. Hallelujah. On the battlefield of the Lord, we need you. We know that the battle belongs to God. But we still have to stand up, saints, praise God, and we have to proclaim this word of the Lord. We have to pray, hallelujah, and some of us warfare style, hallelujah, to get things through because the Lord is listening for us, praise God, to speak in this hour. Let me say that again, to speak in this hour. Praise God. Hallelujah. Believe in and receive it in Jesus' mighty name. I love you with the love of Christ. Hallelujah. Be blessed. I will see you tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Praise God. Hallelujah. It will be day 18, y'all. God bless y'all. Hallelujah. Love y'all.